Hot 1079 Atlanta's number one hip hop station and home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. DJ Cash in the building. I got my partner, my Cali Westside homie in the building. Westside was heading. YG in the building. What's up? 400. What's happening? What's going on, man? I just seen you like two, three weeks ago, man, in Miami. You yeah, was turned the, up. In, in the mansion. Yeah, we got the, the next the little things on the jet ski. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> You know yeah. what I'm saying? Going in, man. It's always good to see. A lot of people don't know, man. YG's a fun dude. If you don't know, this dude, like, the time, I know you, I know you a G. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You got man. the gangster image. You know what I'm saying? Never. But hey, see, that's Every time I've been around you, it's been fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we turn up. Yeah, man. It was it was a good time, man. I'm I'm still, my. I don't think I washed my hands correctly still from the. <laughs> hey, I heard about your little stories and all that, you know. <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much, but I heard you had a good time. I, I had, you... I had. Listen, I had a great time. Yeah, I heard you enjoyed yourself. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know? So it was a. If people don't know, it was a, it was a video shoot for the new single. Yeah, it was the uncut joint. The uncut, and it was definitely uncut. Uncut, you know what I'm talking about. And 2017 it's... tip drill. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> if you don't know, it was shot in a mansion. In South on South Beach, lots yeah. of jet skis, lots yeah. of women naked Yachts jumping in pools. Up, all that, right? All that. And the name know? of the joint, the name of this joint right here is called it's called um, Pop shake, and Shake Pop it. and Shake It, right? Pop and Shake now, It. We just getting ready for the summer, right? You know? So this is gonna be off of um, Just Read Up. Yeah, Just Read three. Up Three. Know Your Worth. And this is off of like so. This started off of like as, as a mixtape though, right? Mixtape. One and two was mixtapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what man. made you be like, yo, this is gonna be the album this time? No, because, okay, so the, so the read up one and the read up two, this read up one is where me and Muscle created the sound, you feel me, we got. Right. So, 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 we did the just read up two. I did another one in between just read up one and two called 400 Degrees, and then I came with the just read up two after that. And after read up two, I got into the aisle of my crazy life, you know, and it got more, like, real music, stories, real substance on records, and then, um, yeah, after that, me and Mustard fell out. I did the Steel Brazy album without him, without him, so the sound was a little different. So, you feel me? We finally, like, hollered. You feel me? Like, real bros supposed to. We hollered, and uh, we like, yeah, we got to get back to what got us here because we ain't, you feel me? We abandoned, you feel me, the sound for a minute. Right. So he like, yeah, we about to turn it up. So, you know, that's when I'm like, all right, we doing Just Read Up 3. You feel me? And I, I added a subhead title. Know your worth to give it some substance, so it just won't be like I put out. I'm just putting out a just a a project that don't mean nothing. Because once you got like, like once you come out the gate with like critically acclaimed albums and they saying it's classics and all that type of stuff, you just can't just do whatever. Right. You know it's gonna mess up like your brand. You feel me? That you built. You feel me? Not even knowing what you was really doing. You just just doing your thing. Right. You know what right. I'm talking about. So it's like. And this your third album. Yeah, this is third project. Right. Yeah. So, like, now that you and Mustard's back together, yeah. how does it feel? Like, did did it feel crazy recording? Because I know, bro, I've been listening since Tooted and Booted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you working with Mustard for so long and then having to do, like, them and the whole album without him and stuff. Like, how does it feel now being back working with him and stuff like that? No, I feel good. It feel, you feel me? It feel good. Like, I feel like what we went through, we had to go to it. Like, we had to go through it. We both young, you from we both young niggas come from nothing, homies. Right. Everybody started getting their own money, start finding their self, you feel me, making their own lane for they self. So you know, like, like you know what come with that. Right, right. You yeah, feel yeah. me? So like we had to go through that. And uh we figured it out. And it's like, I'm glad we got it out the way while we was young and it ain't having like two, three, four years from now, you feel me, in the middle of the uh uh, uh you feel me, the prom. Right. But um, now we good. We back working. We having fun. We turned up. You feel me? We going on family vacations. We doing all type of crazy stuff. What those family vacations look like? Cause if it look like anything like this music video, no, the, <laughs> no, the family vacations be chilled out. Cause you know he got kids. Right? Got okay, 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 okay. That. You know what I'm talking about? We be on some chill stuff when we do the family thing. Right. Now, when we out. Living a four hundred ten summer lifestyle, <laughs> you know that's when the Miami trips and all that type of stuff happen. Right. Like cut videos and everything else to go on. Right. Yeah. So how many cuts must have got on the album? Um, we still working. So. Oh wow. Yeah, he gonna have majority of the album though, but like, like I ain't done. Like I don't know what's final yet. You feel me? But the album gonna 
the show drop like sometime in the summer. Right. Yeah. So one thing I, I, I definitely see everywhere I go, everywhere I DJ, everywhere, every club I pull up, like Cali is definitely rocking with you. Who? Like Cali. The whole, if you from Cali, like when they go in the club and I play a YG record, yeah. they go crazy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So like I haven't... I, I haven't seen like I guess this much unity since Snoop. Like I'm talking about essays, blacks, whatever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Asians. Like, like, how do you feel about now? Like, you know, you have such a large Latino following. You know what I mean? And everything Trump doing with with, with the with the Latinos in China send Mexicans back to 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 Mexico and everything like that. Fuck Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Right. Um, I see you dropped the song. So I, I I wanted to know though officially like how how you feel about Trump and like what everything he's doing, man. No, nah, I don't I don't agree with Trump with with none of the stuff he's doing. He take a he take a he take a approach. Our president figure ain't really supposed to take because his approach and his decisions don't never have our best interests. You feel me? Me and my people, he doing stuff for all him and his rich homies because they in cahoots with everything on the back end on some money. On some business tip, you right. feel me? So yeah, I don't agree with none. Don't nobody agree with none. Everybody, everybody feel like fuck Trump, you know? Right. Yeah, that's what it is. And I, I, I had to speak up for my people and for the Hispanics because, like right. you said, I got a lot of Hispanic supporters. You feel me? Right. Coming from the West Coast, but like it's majority Hispanics out there now. You know what I'm talking about? And they the ones who buying our music, uh, pulling up to the shows, supporting. Right. You know they gonna thug it out with you, you feel me, to the last day. So it's like, like, like I gotta say something for them too. Right. So yeah, me and Nip did that. Um, yeah, fuck Trump. So if he call you for a meeting, you going? Cause you know he called like a lot of Hell black no. leaders to the to the to a meeting. So if he call you for to a meeting, you going? Hell no, I ain't going. He ain't never calling me for a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> be the last thing he call. I'll be the last one he called. <laughs> Oh, and he going to call Kanye West or something before he called me. Kanye went. Exactly. He going to call him again. <laughs> <laughs> he going to call 400. <laughs> so this, uh, Pop It, Shake It. Yeah. Right? When does this drop? It has already dropped. Yeah, it's out. It's out, G. Where you can they me? get it? I mean, everywhere. Like, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. All through the internet. You know what I'm talking about? We dropping a video soon. I got a, I got a clean video. A regular video. I don't want right. to say clean because it is an ass shaking. <laughs> right. Then y'all gonna have to do a lot of bleeping. It's all good. We got it's it. all good. <laughs> so we got the regular video. We shot the regular video in Trinidad doing a little corner vibe. It was turned up. Wait, t- how how come how come I getting invited to the Miami one, not the Trinidad one? I mean, the Trinidad one. <laughs> I mean, the process is just too much, man. You gotta go through passport right, stuff right, and right, all right. that. It's like, man. You know what I'm saying? We was last minute with the trip anyway. Right, so it was right. Like, yeah. But the Miami, we got the uncut. We got the regular video that's going to go worldwide. Then we got the uncut video, you feel me, for the streets. For all the people like you who really want to see that type of stuff. You know what I'm <laughs> oh, you got to blame it on me. <laughs> <laughs> for all my young fellas, you feel me? My no neck friend, Peasy. He might yeah. want to see that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the no neck homie, Peasy, right here. <laughs> no, no, I'm clear. We got the uncut version for the streets, though. You know what I'm talking about? It's the summertime. We trying to get everybody ready for the summer and have fun. Right. So yeah. I mean, a lot has happened though too in your life too. In this album, do you talk about like, like the the you know the shootings that happened, the youth falling nah. out with Mustard? Do you talk about this in the music? In the, nah, in the new not album? really, because everybody already know about that. You know what I'm right. talking about? So what I'm talking about, like the uh, like the message behind this project is know your worth. Right. You feel me? So so. I'm talking about certain stuff on records from every different point of view and just in different situations. Like, and I'm talking, I'm speaking like, like, like I'm going in and I'm just letting, I'm, I'm letting people know, like, I know my worth. You can't play me. You ain't about to play me. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And then there's some songs where I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking out the neck about somebody. You feel me? Because I know it's happening. And y'all playing with some stuff that y'all shouldn't be playing about. So I'm speaking on it. You feel me? Right. It's stuff like. It's Who stuff you like talking that. about? Who I'm talking about? I'm just talking. When, <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. When the music drop, everybody gonna know. You feel me? What it is? And it ain't even. It's just. It is what it is. You know what I'm talking about? It's only a few people who can talk about certain things. You know, I'm one of them dudes. 
So I just, I felt like I wanted to talk about it, you know? Right. Yeah. So no hints? You ain't gonna tell us? No, nah, it ain't, no, 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 no. No hints, man. <laughs> <laughs> know your worth. Know your worth, just know your worth. Yeah, I mean, know your worth. Yo, so what do you say about the artists that are coming up might not know their worth? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure when you was coming up, you went through a lot of- Yeah, I went through situation. it, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And yeah, on the project, I'm talking about that, like, like the whole, my whole, Experience, uh, uh, like with the music business, just coming in early, not having the right people. You feel me? Uh, uh, represent me, moving me around because they ain't really know too much either. Right. Um. Yeah, I went through all that, but um. So like, did you have your? You had like the homies from 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 around the way working for you, like your homies from like around with your, with your managers, your agents, and something all that. Like, yeah, something like that, like something like that, but it's like. You feel me? That's how my situation happened. Right. You know? And that's why I feel like I'm where I'm at today. Like, I got record deals. I got record label deals. I got publishing joint ventures with Universal Music Group because I've been through all the, you feel me, the BS, but I made it out. And I set up, like, all my stuff I set up by myself and we did it, you feel me, in-house. So they like, okay, he know how to, like, he know how to break an artist because he broke himself in, like, with an independent run, basically. Right. You feel me? But I was signed to a major label the whole time. But like everything I was doing was, is was like some independent side of things. So I got all that type of side business going on because of everything I've been through. Right. So you know what I'm talking about. I but this generation worth. too, I kind of feel like you and Mustard like really made that Cali sound mainstream. Like you know what I'm saying to the yeah. point where everybody kind of trying to use that sound. How you feel about that? Like everybody kind of running with the with the Cali sound. I mean, I, I don't feel like people trying to run with it. I feel like the artists is from the West Coast. They like almost gotta try to do something like that. If right. you're trying to have like a club record or some street, right. some street record or something, you gotta have it. Gotta sound like that because we made, like we made it like that. Right, like, right. Like, you feel me? But I don't feel like everybody outside of the West Coast trying to have no record to sound like. Some, this some there's LA some dudes stuff. that that drop records that that, that kind of have that that mustard YG combination I mean, sound. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean that's like whole. You feel me? Whole did a record with Jermaine Dupri. You feel me? The, right, uh, right, right. Money ain't a thing. I mean, all about the Benjamins, whatever it's called. He <laughs> did that. You feel me? Come and get in the South Market, right? True. You feel me? So it's like you gonna do some of that here and there. You feel me? To, you feel me? That's the politic and the right. spread of sound and the. In the group, right, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Like, I got a record on my uh, project. It's a South record. You know what I'm talking about? What you mean? Like, so you singing? Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 I ain't singing. <laughs> like, it's a South record. It's from a South producer. Oh, the no, South record. Okay. It's a down South record. Okay, okay. Know? And I got some, I got some down South. Who produced it? People's on it. Who produced it? Yeah. We ain't gonna get into oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all, I'm giving you a little info. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It might not make it. It might not make it. It might. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just toss that to me for my uh my hey, DJ no, release. Look. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right. I'm gonna see. Listen, bro. I'm a real one, bro. I'm gonna give you the record off off the radio. I'm gonna give it to you early, straight like that. No flexing, no cap. No flexing. What I got a flex for? I'm Boy, a real one. look. Yo, right. Hey, listen. Yo, just right. Just don't let it leak. <laughs> nah, nah, I promise you. Just don't let but it I'm leak. But I'm going to be in the car like this, though. Like, <laughs> Man, you can do, 400! You can Snapchat it, all that. No, nah, I ain't even going to do that. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. I don't Snapchat. I ain't going to do that. Man, I ain't even with... Snapchat when we was at the house. Well, I did a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did a little bit. I did a little bit. So you lie. always getting in trouble. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we on the OEYG in the belly. Um, 400. Yeah, that got yeah. That, that just read up, know your worth. Yeah. Three, yeah. coming out soon. We don't yeah. got a release date for it. It's not finished. Nah, nah, it ain't finished. I'm about to go, like, after I leave Atlanta, I'm about to go to Cleveland. I'm about to be in Cleveland for a month. I got to shoot this movie. So that's why it's like, like, the movie just, like, messed up my whole what movie? process. What's the name of the movie? It's a movie called White Boy Rick. You feel me? It's based on truth. It's like a drug story based on this um white boy. He was, like, 14 years old from Detroit, like, moving, like, real dope big weight right. and he got caught up and he turned into like an informant so he was but he was still like moving weight as he was like snitching and putting you feel me some of the other dudes in jail so they finally doing a film on it and 
and um, his storm, Matthew McConaughey. You know, I got a. That's me? big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what's your role? I'm one of the. So it's a group of brothers. You feel me? They call it the uh, or they call it the Curry Brothers, and um, you feel me? They the young white boy. He moving like heavyweight. You feel me? Shit, he like a top drug. You feel me? Right. The dealer in the city, and then you got the Curry Brothers. You feel me? Them two like the top. Oh, got you, got city. you. So you one of the. I'm Curry a part brothers. of the brothers. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you and then just pop, 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 pop. No, but I'm from Detroit though, so right, right, right. you feel me? I ain't screaming out 400. Oh, yeah. in the movie, you're right, yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm on some D boy thing. You feel me? I'm talking about. 